Hello, everyone. Iris Alliston here, and I am your host for today. This is our segment for our CEO Nation show. And as you know, we have these seg segments where I bring in experts and entrepreneurs around the world, and we we'll talk about business and personal life and, you know, giving us the strategies and marketing tips and things like that to help us grow our business even more. So as you know, for those of you who have been watching me for a while, our segment consists of, you know, casual conversations with experts, me asking questions about what they do in their business and so forth. And it could go between 15 minutes to even 30 minutes, depending on our conversations. Where today, I actually have a really, a new friend of mine, his name is Justin Hurt. And um, actually, we have met in this group, Facebook group, right? We're basically Amazon influencers. And for those of you who do not know or have no idea what an Amazon influencer is, it's basically us reviewing products that we already have at home, our office, garage, whatever that is, the products. And then we upload it on Amazon and then we earn commission. So I know that's the simplest way to do it, but it is simple. It really is simple. And we make money every day and we, we have fun doing it, right? So today, you know, like I said, Justin is here and I'm so glad that he that he's giving me this opportunity to ask him questions about his journey when it comes to Amazon. And I know he does more, more than, you know, Amazon. He's actually doing many other things. So Justin, <laughs> thank you, my friend. Thank you so much. And as you know, like I told you earlier, we're just going to get into the talk, right? We're just going to get into it. So tell me about your journey when it comes to Amazon influencer influencer program. Yeah. So well, thank yeah, thanks for having me. And um, Amazon influencer is something I've been doing for since the end of last year. I've always sort of been into side hustles, um, into just different kinds of ways to make additional income. And uh, honestly, Amazon influencer seems sort of easy <laughs> you know i saw you know but you, you got to be careful because i've seen some of these uh like youtube people you know showing their numbers like i think the first person i watched did like you know fifteen thousand dollars in a month or something like that and i was like well you know at least the the potential is there you know right. and i went into it with you know i not expecting like learning the ropes and stuff i don't think i'm gonna do fifteen thousand actually i've never done fifteen thousand dollars a month you know uh, but there's several people who are doing specific things to, to get there. So I was like, yeah, it's definitely got potential to it, to, to grow. And, um, I liked it because I have a reselling business where I'll go out and I'll buy items and then I'll resell them on Amazon, eBay and stuff like that. So I've got a constant flow of products. I was like, all right, well, I've, I mean, I've got that covered, you know? And then, um, I was like, there's no over, there's not really a lot of overhead. You know, you don't have to keep stock. You don't have to worry about things going expired. You're not selling physical products. You're, you're basically, you're, you're, you're profiting off of your, uh, your reviews. So your personality, your, you know, your um, um, comments on whatever items that you're reviewing. So like, that's pretty, that's pretty good to be able to have that kind of potential without having to invest a lot of overhead. Exactly. I totally agree with you because of all the businesses that we have done, this is one of the easiest ways. Now, like you said, you know, disclaimer, there's no such thing as easy or rich, you know, get rich quick scheme or things like that. You, We do have to put in the work. So, you know, we want to make sure that we put that out there. But of all the things that I have done, and I don't know about you, Justin, but this is one of the, the easiest things to do. I didn't have the great products. You know, we don't have to create um, programs or coaching offers, things like that, right? Yeah. And, and there's not, at least the way I do it, there's not um, a, a lot of editing. I will edit some, you know, cut out fronts and, and, and ends, but I'm not adding like stars and bells and whistles and I'm not doing any of that. Most of my videos are, you know, 45 seconds to a minute even, uh, depending on what it is. And you can do it. Like I've got a camera set up, but I mean, as far as entry level, you know, uh, difficulty, you can do it with, with a smartphone, you know, you can, you can record yourself with a smartphone uh, on the product and then 
upload it and uh yeah it's pretty much i mean it's pretty much the process for getting it up there yeah yeah see i remember when i started out actually it was a dare um my my friend and i were talking about this because i saw an ad one time and about amazon influencer i'm thinking i am not an influencer at all i don't, I don't want to influence people right i was really skeptic going into yeah. this did you have that feeling in the beginning uh well so not not really i think for me i, I was more like um i'm just gonna do it and see what happens i mean i, I have yeah. a youtube presence i have a a teaching background you know i'm in front of people a lot uh for my for my work and i was like you know what i'm just gonna review some things around the house and uh, see how it goes so yeah. uh yeah but yeah i wouldn't consider my i mean technically i guess i am an influencer but i wouldn't i guess i really wouldn't consider myself an influencer even <laughs> though i've you know I'm, I'm almost 200 plus videos now but that's amazing that's amazing i know you touch base when it comes to you're doing other things with amazon so you're doing like um um I don't know much about it besides this influencer program, but yeah. is it like an e-commerce or? Yeah, it's e it's e-commerce. So there, there's several different business models um, that that people can do. My particular one is what you call retail arbitrage. Oh, okay. uh, so you would go out and you're doing arbitrage, right? So you're you're playing the market essentially of, of items. So I may go out to a to a store and uh find i don't know say you find 30 pairs of socks for four dollars each because they're on clearance well amazon the market has them for like 25 dollars each so you buy those socks for four dollars and then you list them on amazon somebody goes to amazon buys them and then they take out all their fees and everything and you get there and you get the rest uh so and i've been doing that for since 2012 doing that on amazon and then ebay wow. before that Wow. Oh, that is amazing. That's amazing. And the beautiful thing about Amazon is, you know, uh, if we choose to, we don't even have to drive traffic to it. No paid ads because the, oh, the market is already there. That's right? yeah, that's that's huge. I mean, Amazon is is massive. Right. And, and there are other platforms and programs, but Amazon really did a good job of making it so where it's really easy for customers right so i mean their the return policy is really good now they've got this try before you buy on like shoes they've got you know the prime shipping i mean amazon's pretty much they've done a good job with what with what they do uh for sure and you know maybe one day somebody will take over amazon but that uh, hasn't happened yet and they're still they're still at the head of it for now <laughs> It's one of the number one um, marketplace right now. And you can't beat it because they're constantly evolving. Yep. You know, they started out with, with eBooks, right? And now they're into uh, music and and many, many other things. Oh, so yeah, they, and, and Amazon in general provides such an opportunity for people to make money. I mean, you've got the reselling aspect of it. You can buy and resell, you can start your own product. They've got Amazon Influencer. They've got Amazon Merch, which is print on demand, where you just come up and develop the ideas, right? And then they'll, and somebody buys it and then they'll print it as it comes and you have zero overhead, right? And then they have, you can self-publish books, right? I mean, they've got they've got so much, so many different avenues that you could go down to, to uh, you know, make a, a living or just some extra, you know, cash. Exactly, exactly. So you have been doing the Amazon Influencer Program for a few months now. Um, so tell us, maybe give us practical tips on how to find, you know, worthy products on to review, you know, to review, or, yeah. or what? What are your tips? So <clears throat> my my initial, I guess, uh, tip would be, you know, start with what you have around the house, right? I mean. Like we were just talking about, Amazon has just about everything, right? So if you have the Amazon app on your phone, you can open that up and it, you can pull up search by image and you could just hold that over whatever it is. Like I've just like got some stickers here, right? They're like hazmat stickers. You could just hold that over that and see what listings come up and be like, oh, okay, yeah, I can do a video on that, right? Um I sort of taken the shotgun approach 
uh, re research is really, I think, where, the, where these people are making big bucks at. You know, they're going on there, they're finding products that are trending. They're finding products that don't have a lot of videos or zero videos on them. Um, mm -hmm. And they're really digging deep to get those and then investing in those. Uh, my approach has been more whatever's around the house, um, whatever I get to resell. For example, Kohl's just had a big sale and I, I would go there and buy a bunch of like clothes and shoes to resell. And uh, this will lead to another tip. Um, what I do is I'll review it um, from sort of a different angle. I think a lot of people think I have to actually like use this product and really believe in it, you know, and really sell it. Uh, Amazon's not really like that because like you said, they, they're promoting it for you. So mm -hmm. if, that, if they don't have any videos and they put your video up there, the person watches it whether they think, you know, your accent's funny or your face looks weird or your eyebrows are, aren't done or whatever it is, you know, they're, once they watch it, then it goes into their cookies and that kind of stuff. And then that's how, you know, you get your commissions from it. Yeah. So buying these shoes, I could take the shoe out. I could review it. You know, you know, the, you know, flex is real easy. It's got this nice mesh. It's really lightweight. You know, check out the tread, you know, it comes with these laces or whatever it is. So I'm reviewing aspects of it that I'm genuinely inspecting, but I'm not putting on like a size seven women's running shoe and, you know, claiming that, Hey, I can run 10 miles in this thing easy. So I think just coming up with different uh, a mindset of how you're going to review things, right? Because if you limit yourself to only things that you use, um, you're going to run out of content pretty quickly. You're going to have a lot because we use a lot more stuff, I think, than we than we know, you know. Um, but uh, to, to expand beyond that, it's going to be something that, that I think you're going to have to come at it with a different sort of angle, I guess. Right, right. Well, one of the things that I do is I actually go to my friend's house. <laughs> I go to my friend's house and then it's so funny now when, whenever I go, they know exactly what I'm going going in there for besides, you know, eating and things like yeah. that, chit chatting. But they're like, oh, no, here comes Iris. You know, she's yeah. got her phone now. She's going to turn on the Amazon lens <laughs> <laughs> and start scanning the room. Like, for example, it's so funny because now it's a habit for me now. You know, I'm seeing your background, right? Yeah. And your background, it has the map. You have a yep. wall there, decorations. And I'm already thinking, is that on Amazon? Yep. Are those on Amazon? Um, so yeah. we but can I, find so much. Yeah, I, I, I love that. I, I do the same thing. Even, even at work, um, when we, <laughs> you know, uh, where I work at, you know, I've, I've done the laminator. I've done safety knives. I've done stands for signs. I've done whiteboards. And, uh, you know, one of the cool things about it, and I'm, I, I feel like with technology, I felt like, you know, I grew up like in the nineties, early two thousands. So I was like, I grew up with some sort of technology, but th it's advances so much. I found out that they have voiceover so I can actually just be quiet at work and just sort of look around, you know, cover it. And then at lunch, like in the car, I'll do a voiceover for it. And uh, then there's my video, you know, and I'm like, you can do it all right there on your, on your phone, but Definitely changes the way you look at things because you're always thinking like, could I review that? You know, mm -hmm. it has become a habit. It becomes a habit. And uh, so we touched base on the uh, the editing portion. What app do you use to edit your video? Well, your video? Um, if, if I do a video on my phone, I'll just use like iMovie. I, I have an Apple phone. OK, um, but that's like if I'm out somewhere, uh, typically if I'm going to review something in the house, I've got an actual um, camera that I bought just for Amazon Influencer. I don't really know much about cameras, but I was like, this is a good opportunity to spend some cash, you know, and you can mark it off on your taxes as a business expense at the end of the year and sort of learn about them. Um, I'll record those and then I use a program called DaVinci Resolve. Mm -hmm. If you Google, yeah. you know, editing programs, it's pretty it'll come up towards the top uh and the free version is is amazing um it, there's sort of a lot to it i know about four buttons and three shortcuts and that gets me yeah. through you know yeah. about 95 percent of any kind of editing <laughs> that, that yeah. i need to do i use what they call in shot i-n-s-h-o-t and i download it on my iphone Mm -hmm. And that is the number one thing that I often use to edit my videos. And, and we can do voiceover on, the, on those as well. 
And it can also scrub the background, obviously, right? Oh, okay, that's And cool. delete it, and then we just do a voiceover. So that is one thing. Um, the one thing that I I struggle with is I I ran out of storage on my phone. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, yep, yeah. <laughs> All the yeah, that's time. that's one of the th reasons I got a camera too. You know, because you're. <laughs> and then I ran out of storage on the uh, the little the SD card that it came with. You know, so I was like, I gotta go through and delete it or or get a new one. So. Exactly. Exactly. It's like, oh my gosh, the. So we really are having fun doing this. And it's just one of those easy things to do. You know, I know I keep saying that, but it is, it really is. And a lot of people think that it's so hard, but I think once you get going and you start practicing on how to record your videos, and like you said, having the right mindset, really thinking of what are you gonna say? You know, what do the customers need to know about the product? And basically, what we what we can do is we just talk about the products as if the way we use it. Mm -hmm. Do you find it easy that way, Justin? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Just talk yeah. about it that way. Yeah, or show it in action sometimes, you know, if you got a coffee maker or whatever, or I reviewed some coffee, right? And I'm like, oh, we're gonna brew it. And you see it brew for you know yeah. half a second, and you're like, oh, this now this has got some nice color, you know, it's amazing. It tastes it, mm, you know, just if you can just sort of have fun with it too that way. Uh, one of the things, uh, and I don't know if I'm jumping ahead here at all for me, but one of the things about Amazon Influencer that I did not know is that you could monetize videos because Amazon Influencer, all of the literature and documentation that Amazon puts out about it is very, very unclear about what it actually is, right? So there's this whole part that we've been talking about so far where you make a video, mm -hmm. Amazon has the chance to grab that video put it on a product and then you get commissions. They really don't talk about that like at all anywhere that, that I've seen. The biggest thing that I thought it was, was you have a social media presence, right? Like I'm on YouTube uh, and then you can get products that you use and you can link those products when you talk about them. Like I would be like, say, Hey um, guys, I use these uh, bags right here. Check the link down below. That's what I thought that it was. But then I started hearing people, you know, making money off videos. And I was like, well, how do you, how do you do that? So there was uh, people in like Facebook groups really who were already doing it. They really helped more than Amazon, which I've been dealing with Amazon for, for over a decade. And that that's pretty much how it goes. <laughs> Usually talking to people that do it helps a lot more than trying to get answers from, from them. Yeah, exactly. I mean, we end up finding things on our own, really. Mm -hmm. You know, it's a trial and error. Um, to, now, to add on to the monetization, monetization, I can't say that. <laughs> As you know, we earn commissions when people click on our video and then they buy the product. Or not even that, you know, even related products that we did not even do a review on, we get commissions from that. But I want to add also is in, you know, the fact that brands, companies actually reach out to us as well. And they have the ability to also pay us to create videos for them. And now this is outside Amazon. Not a lot of influencers are doing this, but there is also the, that opportunity to monetize it to another level because brands and companies reach out to you, especially when they see your videos and they like the way you present yourself. They like the way you talk about the products. So they have the ability to actually reach out to us through our social media and then just connect with us and we can go from there. Do you have brands reaching out to you lately? Well, I've I've had one brand. Uh, so so two, two things. I had one brand reach out to me um, to review a product. And then it was the first time it ever happened, right? So instead of being like, oh yeah, sure, I'll do it. I was like, yeah, hundred bucks. And I want this product. And the product was like a $250, some sort of special blanket. And they were like, all right, I'll run it up the chain and, and see. And I guess I, I don't guess it was too much for them to do. So they never got back. But, uh, you know, I don't feel bad about that because I'm not going to cut myself short, which I did in the next brand that reached out, it was for a razor, which is funny because I don't obviously shave, shave a whole lot, but I was like, sure, I'll review it. And they sent me a list. I was like, okay, well, well let's talk about what you're going to charge. And they were like, well, uh, or what, what you're going to offer me. And they were like, well, can we give you the, 
product as a payment. And I was like, you know, I sort of get my feet wet. Yeah, sure, that's fine. You know, um, so they sent me the product, but then they sent me a list of we want you to do this and this and this and this. And when I got into it, I was like, oh man, I'm gonna charge, I should have charged these people. Because yeah. then when I did it, it ended up being like almost a two-minute video and I edited it and went to different rooms. And now keep in mind, I'm like, okay, I'm learning as I'm going, right? I'm learning a little bit about filming. And so I'm doing it for the experience. Yeah. Um, but it's not something I would probably do, you know, uh, again. I've got a product that I don't use that I spend more time than I normally do. And then I put it up there and they were like, oh, when you did this, the head was on backwards. The little dot should have lined up. Can you redo it? And I told, I was like, no, I'm not going to, I'm not going to redo that. I'm it's sorry. a production, you yeah. know, it's a production. That, that's another thing that a lot of influencers don't talk about is, yeah, we own commissions and stuff like that. And brands, brands reach out to us, but little, little do they realize that it is a production brands. I mean, the companies, it is a production that we do this. It, it can take us a few minutes to record something and, you know, and edit and do all these things that we need to do. And, and, you know, and some of them, uh, I've seen influencers now, depending on if they like the product and things like that. I actually started to receive products and I did it in the beginning where it was just, you know, free content and I, and, but I've never sent them the videos unless they pay me. Yeah. So what I do is I just upload it on Amazon because I always say, well, since this is a free product and I'm not getting paid for this, I would like to put it on my Amazon storefront so I can earn more commissions. Right. So nine out of 10 times they will say, yeah, okay, this and that. And they try to convince me otherwise, but I always stick to my gun. It's like, hey, you know, this is a production. Yeah. yeah. You know, you have the money, you have marketing budget money. So I don't understand why you can't, you know, pay me for that. So, and that's one, that's the, the dark side of it. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I, I have been doing actually, and, and that would be, you know, it would be, it would be amazing that you hooked up with a brand and they were like, you were like their person, right? Like anytime they wanted to promote something on Amazon, they, they contacted you. That would be cool to have that kind of exclusivity. Um, but I've, I've been reaching out on um, Creator Connections uh, where you can, so, so instead of, I'll reach out to brands. And I have just a little script that I that I copy and paste to, to every brand that I'm interested in the item, because then you can say I'm interested in this item. Do you give samples? This is my channel, et cetera, et cetera. And uh, then a lot of times they'll give me the sample and then I can join their promotion, do the video, and then you get whatever the extra. Like sometimes we'll give you like 20 percent extra. If somebody buys that from that video, that link, then you'll get that extra commission and stuff like that. So. I've, I've been doing that and sometimes those things are sort of saturated with um videos but uh, sometimes i can use the item so it's pretty cool or sometimes it's just neat to see different you know items that come out and uh, every once in a while you get you'll score and you'll have one that is offering a promotion that doesn't have a lot of videos that you can get a sample on and you can uh, do the video so there's really yeah. nothing, nothing to lose there Right, right. I that's one thing I have not even tried. It's the creator. Um, what is it? Creator insight. Connection. Creator, creator connections. I think is. Yeah, word. yeah. I haven't tried that yet. <laughs> so, yeah. But yeah, but um. Well, okay. One last question, Justin, is how can people connect with you? How can they get get in touch with you? Sure. Yeah, I'm. Um, I got a YouTube channel. It's called uh, The Winds of Change. Uh. T H E space W I N S uh, space change. And it's the same on uh, uh, YouTube is the same, the underscore wins underscore of change. I think that's how, I think that's how it is. But if, if you get with a the YouTube, then um, it's got all the links on there and that kind of stuff to, to contact me. Okay. Fantastic. Well, thank you so much for for uh, spending the time with me and having this conversation. Mm -hmm. I definitely enjoyed it. And thank you for your insight. I wish we can talk more about this, right? We can talk about this all day, right. <laughs> but we only have a few minutes here. But thank you again, Justin, and I'll see you guys soon.